Now our pirate team, they have started. Let's see how they do on this, coming up on this first obstacle. They took a bypass around that first obstacle. Looks like they're not even thinking about the solid soil sample retrieval. They just want to get up that hill. And yeah, and it's, like we said, they're just different, different kind of strategies for each rover based on how they're built and what they know they can do um, and what they can succeed at and the most points they can get in that six slash seven minute window. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to say, the pirate flag flying behind it, I love it. These teams are carrying their flags. It's one of the objectives to complete out there on the course. Might as well not, might as well have your banners and well your colors flying with, with you. Absolutely. Yeah, and our East Carolina team is making some quick time. Yes, they are. They've gotten past the chicane. They're uh, approaching the the Martian terrain right now. Let's see what the plan is. Go straight up to Butte. It looks like they got some good momentum. Here we go. They're gonna and get it. They got it. Down. All right, they got it. Now let's take a, a bypass around the second part of that. We might have two rovers here in the same frame not too long from now. And I don't think we've seen that all day. At least I haven't. It is certainly a rarity in this competition. We try to space the rovers out so each rover uh, has ample time to complete their objectives and to, to accomplish the things that they set out to do. But we have our team from East Carolina moving at a pretty fast pace. Yeah, it looks like one little bit of a struggle getting through and that Martian train. They've got that through. Excellent job, guys. They'll be coming up to the lunar terrain. will be interesting to see if they stop to get those 11 points in the instrument deployment or if they're going to go straight on down into the crater to see uh, to plant their flag. To plant that flag. I can't imagine that they're not going to plant that flag. That, that might be the coolest flag we've seen all day. So I hope that they plant it and take that photo. You'll see in the NASCAR. And we do have both teams right there in the same frame. Eastern Carolina is line as they tackle that crevasse oh and they got the hay bale that hurts yeah, we've seen that off. a few times today um those hay bales again are put in place for safety because that has happened a few times it's easy on that incline for them to to slide over to the side so we saw that coming we were we were prepared no harm no foul they're back at it they popped back in their vehicle and they're getting ready to keep moving driving or whether they're building and watching it's a lot of work they uh, we've the now seed. seen the east carolina team pass our team from bolivia they are they just they just totally demolished that hill went right on over it you can see they're pedaling 
very hard, very fast. And they are tired, but they look at, I see a couple smiles on the faces. They're happy with how this run's going. They're going to be coming into our view not too long Yeah, from they now. know they're nearing the end, so those smiles on their faces are showing that they have almost completed this challenge. Yeah, so as they're cresting the top of that hill, that pirate flag flying proudly behind them, along with the American flag. And we don't have a time on them, so we're not sure where they're at in time. But I can't imagine that it's, it has reached the limit yet. Now, our team from Bolivia, they have, they have most likely surpassed that six, seven-minute mark. But I think our team from East Carolina, they are coming in really strong, finishing. We can hear them coming over the finish line right behind yeah. us. Yeah, Caitlin, we're looking over here. We're looking at our uh, space shuttle pathfinder. Awesome. Absolutely. They are coming They're coming through the right line. behind us. You should see them in our frame in just a few seconds. That um, is that was, excellent. That was amazing. There they go. So That's one of the best performances we've seen all day um, here at the Rover Challenge. Absolutely. And it'll be interesting to talk to them, whether it's later today or tomorrow, to see just how that round went, yeah. what obstacles they went after, and which ones they bypassed, and what like adjustments they made. It's, it's not easy, and it's getting hot, it's getting warm, and they did a fantastic job. Definitely endurance is key, and you can tell that they – they kept up the endurance, and I would love to know what their teammates were saying in their ears um, as they were communicating with them, whether it was just encouragement or tips to keep going or to bypass certain obstacles and, and just to get as many points as they possibly could.